Through the forest that pursed and hanged, asking for help from the childish gang. The teacher waits, singing this song, cursing the children who left her to hang. Now revenge is sweet and sound. Happy Horror, written and performed by pupils from Dells Academy. We're on the bus to water world, to water world, to water world. We're on the bus to water world, and nothing bad's gonna happen. I want my mummy. Settle down, children. We'll get this sorted. We're feeling a jiffy and be on our way to the water park for your super fun. Happy day reward for being a uh, school children. Yay! We aren't going anywhere anytime soon. We need a suspension spring for the low part of the engine. Uh, carbohydrate thingy. Now, kids, pass me another donut. Here you go, bus driver, and thank you so much for being our loving, caring driver, who will protect us from absolutely everything, even a zombie with melting flesh or a dog with killing eyes who sings. Girls a weasel. That's enough to hear a rough bus driver. You mean to say we're stuck here in this unfamiliar, deep, dark forest? Yep, we're donuts. Pass me another one. Wow, I've always wanted to be in an old broken down school bus in the middle of nowhere. I think I'd better go for help. In my calculations, we went past a garage just five seconds ago. If we were travelling at 72 miles an hour, it must mean we are exactly 72 miles. That means... Zip it, smarty pants. I think I'll press on ahead to the next garage, wherever that is, leaving you 15 small, vulnerable and clueless children under the care of our trusted, energetic bus driver. <sighs> Donuts. Yes. It will be fine to leave you alone, even though my risk assessment suggests that you wouldn't survive more than... Five minutes in this dangerous environment, beside a forest with freaky wolves, shadows, a derelict house and bloodthirsty recently escaped murderers. News bulletin, the local forest is full of bloodthirsty recently escaped murderers. But who needs a risk assessment? I know you children, I think you'll be fine. Goodbye children. Bye teacher. Half a pound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle, that's the way the money goes, pop goes the weasel. The noises out there are scary. Why don't we stay here where we're safe and wait for our teacher? But that derelict house with its cracked windows, its spiky metal door and those threatening shadows look like a good place to find help. Come on, into the forest. Oh. Why are the yellow eyes staring at us from the trees? Is that normal? Don't worry, look at my muscles. I could fight off any monster to protect you little girls. I'd feel safer with a mummy than you. Taylor wants a mummy. An Egyptian mummy. Luke, you're an idiot. Oh look, there's two paths. Which one should we take? My calculations show that the path to the right will take us to the house and the path to the left has a 72.75 chance of leading us to mortal danger. Let's stick together. Let's go to the house. No scary cats. I'm going this way. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Luke. You're shaking. I'm not. It's just the wind. I'll save you all. Bye, Luke. Be careful. Oh. Pop goes the weasel. Ah! What's happened to him? Maybe he's been possessed by a wolf or a spooky singing doll with blank green eyes. Whatever, we'll just have to leave him. He probably just got scared by a squirrel. That garage must be somewhere along this long, cracked, deserted road. 
I'll soon find help for my pupils and we'll be back on the way to Waterworld. Oh, look how beautiful those pitch black shadows are that are surrounding me. How peculiar. The sky is so dark for the middle of the day. Half a pound of tuppence. Oh, look at this beautiful stranger ahead of me. She is tiny, small for her age, and look at her blank eyes that never blink. She must be kind. I'll ask her for help. Girls a weasel. Can you help me, little girl? We are lost and no one knows where we are. My mobile is broken. The kids are very small and vulnerable. Our bus doesn't work. Can you help us? Half a pound of tuppenny rice. Half a pound of treacle. That's the way Oh, the money that's goes. wonderful. What a beautiful voice. Pop goes a weasel. Ah! Me, Lily. Hey Lily, let me get a shot of your frightened face with the haunted house behind it, then we can get inside. I'm so scared, I'm going to wet my pants. What was that? That was awesome! My calculations showed that the speed multiplied by the distance we fell to the floor means we could have broken our arms and the noise from the bang was enough to make us lose 85% of our hearing. Hey Mick, stop. Do something useful and open that window. In the movies, they always climb through the windows. What? Into, into creepy haunted houses where death might be waiting? They only do that in horror films. Yeah? Brilliant! This is so cool! This is the best day ever. Come on! Hello! 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 Anybody there? Yeah! yeah. Monsters! 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 Cold, dark, scary. Strange noises, a chill on the back of my neck. Yeah, Tahira, this is perfect for my film. Lily, can you scream for me? I don't want to. I want my dolly. What's that red blood like liquid rolling down the wall? <coughs> Got it. Perfect for my film, Lily. What an ear piercing scream. Pop goes a weasel. I can hear a weird voice. It sounds like a demon doll. You can't accurately guess without hard mathematical evidence the difference between a demon doll and an ordinary doll. Doll! 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 Don't be such a baby, Lily. You can have your doll when you get home. No! There's a doll behind you! Ah! Half a pound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle, that's the way the money goes. Run! Pop goes the weasel. Wait, guys! I want to take a selfie. With me? No, with the freaky doll, you idiot. I want to go back to the bus. I bet the bus has gone. I'd say we could be stuck here forever. Look behind you, Lily. Run! Let's go, go back, back which way? Oh, no. We're back where we started. How did that happen? <laughs> where are you? According to my calculations, we ran 577 metres times 15 divided by 6, which means... We, we go Kermit! I'll find you. Great! I've got my phone ready to film you. I'm going to be famous. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. Help! The lights have gone out. You're trapped. Quick! Climb out the window! It slams shut all by itself. Taylor, quick, ring for help. We're trapped. Uh, no signal? You'll never escape. Wait, I know this might be a bit obvious, but why don't we leave through the open door? Yes, if we do what Tahara suggests, escape is 99.9775643%. Chance guaranteed. Run for it. Bye bye, Freaky Doll. See you on YouTube. We're alive. What's that? In the woods, under that tree. Looks like a dead body. Ah! It's Luke. He's, he's dead. Serves him right. Luke wasn't that bad. Nah, he was alright, really. I wonder if he'll come back as a ghost. <laughs> oh, Luke. <laughs> Scared you. Luke! Oh. I think I preferred you as a ghost. Oh. Yeah.
Yay! The bus is still here. We're safe. Wake up, the driver. Wake, Wake up! up! Eh? What? Where am I? Oh, hello, kids. Hey, can you pass me another donut? No! Please drive. Get us out of here. I want my mummy. <laughs> Who's that in the middle of the road? Is it a blood-sucking vampire or a ghost? Oh, Carl, call with fangs drinking the blood of the living. I hope so. Or maybe it's just our teacher. That's even scarier. <coughs> it is, is our teacher. teacher. Hi, great to see you. How's your trip been so far, kids? We've been attacked by demented dolls. Lovely. Yeah, it was so cool. Luke was attacked in the woods. I wasn't. That was fine. I was brave. He was screaming. He was terrified. Uh. Oh, brilliant. That's amazing. Let's all sing a song. We're on the way to Waterworld. No, not that song. My song. Half a pound of tuppenny rice. Happy Horror was written and performed by pupils from Dulce Academy. The writing team was Chloe, Ellie, Mirage, Tamaki and Tony. The actors were Ayanda as bus driver, Freya as teacher, Breeson as spooky doll, Honey as Tahara, Maddie as Taylor, Noah as Luke, Sam as Mick, El Louise as Lily and Chloe as other voices. Through the forest a person hangs, asking for help from the childish gang. The teacher waits, singing this song, cursing the children who left her to hang. Now revenge is sweet and sound!